Gujarat. Famous for many things, its wildlife, diverse culture, entrepreneurship, and of course, the Sabarmati Ashram, home to Mahatma Gandhi. Today, however, the capital Ahmedabad is gaining recognition for its pioneering work at the Institute of Kidney Disease and Research Center, IKDRC, and the Institute of Transplantation Sciences, the ITS. IKDRC and the ITS are specialist institutes for kidney disease and kidney transplantation. It is an embodiment of the dream of a young man who left his small village in Saurashtra traveled to United States and Canada to practice medicine. After 14 years, he gave it all up to return to his home country in 1977. I was prepared for a tough fight. I, know, I, I was sure that I was knowing that there is not going to be red, red carpet and they will tell me that you please come in. Only they will stro throw the stones at me. And if they uh, throw stones at me, I can build the building out of it. This transition for Dr. H. L. Trivedi was not easy. But I love India and therefore I was ready to go through in any amount of hardships which will come. Despite the obstacles, gradually his dream project began to take shape. Funds were limited and it was with the help of the government of Gujarat and the generosity of donors that finally, in 1981, the IKDRC came into existence with Dr. Trivedi as its director. His objectives when he set up the institute were very clear. They were service, education and research. Uh, service is the first priority because this is a medical institute and medical institute does not exist in its uh, proper sense unless they have a very strong uh, service component. Service is indeed the driving force at the IKDRC. Dr. Trivedi leads by example and despite his age, takes personal interest in his patients. That was the first to develop. The research and education were added up later on because that is, that is the priority, that is the chronology in which we established this. But as it stands now, after years of experience, we have all three components very well developed and supporting each other. Indian systems are accepting a poor man getting a poor care and a rich man getting a rich care. Except that that good care has to go to the everybody who needs it. So we are not short of poor people. It's a matter of only having a finances, enough finances to do that. We know how to do it. We know where to do it. We have a know-how of doing it. We are committed to do it. Crucial to the success of the Institute was a qualified, committed team that also believed in his ideals. So when we sat down to develop this institute, we have very carefully selected the people who will form a team. It takes the evolution of a doctor's mind to reach to a point where he thinks in terms of solution of a patient's problem, not the patient as a solution for doctor's economic uh, survival. This institute, our education programs are all full-time. They come at 9 o'clock and work up to 9 o'clock in the evening. And uh, they work at nights and they work uh, during the days and they work on holidays, etc. Indicating that that's the commitment. In fact, my secretary was a high court lawyer. And uh, so we say, she said that she wants to be a part of the whole thing. I said, come on, you come in because we need people who are committed. 